empty role will be transformed because of AI. As a result, you have to level up your game to figure out how can you stay relevant. It's a common saying these days that AI might not replace you in your job, but someone knowing AI will. And riding on this, tech companies, small or big, are coming up with a plethora of AI courses to keep you ahead. They have launched free AI and training certification courses to help train and attract good tech talent and help them be ready to face the big changes that the job market is already undergoing and will continue to undergo on advance due to the rise of artificial intelligence and its tools. In fact, the Indian government has also launched a host of free AI training courses in collaboration with the IIT Madras and the National Council for Vocational Education and Training so that we can create more engineers who are trained in AI and can eventually create India's own AI models. Even firms other than just tech companies are now training their staff in at least basic artificial intelligence skills. And if you keep browsing social media websites like me, you would have also been bombarded by a huge bunch of tweets telling you that you have to know these AI tools and ads about AI courses that are being offered across platforms, locations and timelines. Most people do want to jump onto the AI bandwagon in some way or another, either due to FOMO or because they genuinely want to advance their skills and be AI ready. Even upskilling platforms have seen a strong demand coming from India Inc. for AI-related courses. In fact, enrollments in some of them have surged over 100% in the last quarter. There are programs related to generative AI, machine learning, data science, prompt engineering and others. They're either standalone courses or as modules in related programs. But while most want to jump onto the AI bandwagon, many don't know the starting point. Should you do an AI course in the first place? If you do, then which one? Do you need to be well-versed with programming to know AI? How do you decide which AI course to pick and one that suits your need the best? And most importantly, what will you even learn in these courses? There are many who wonder whether 15-day courses or 2-month courses are actually enough for them to upskill and are actually worth it. Or do you need to actually get into the nitty-gritties of coding and programming to really be able to leverage the power of AI? Well, in this video, we are going to answer all these questions and more. And hopefully by the end of it, you'll know exactly what it is that you need to do to upskill or whether you even need to invest in an AI course right now. So first, what is the starting point for choosing an AI course? Well, the most important thing is that you figure out why you want to do one. Because in general, there are two reasons. One is that you actually want to do a full-fledged course or degree in which you'll be coding and building the AI tools that people use. Like if you want to build chatbots or AI models to use or that people can work with. And the second is that you just want to upskill. That would mean that you basically want to use AI tools to get better at what you're doing or even to do newer, more ancillary things. But your interest in AI is for your use case purposes, not to actually build and make models as such. These courses then would be shorter, like a few weeks or maybe a couple of months. So for the first one to actually build a career in AI, and if you want to build the bots and the machinery, you will require a full-fledged tech-centric degree. It may not necessarily be a full AI-specific degree because those courses are relatively recent. Most AI models may have been a part of a full computer science or a machine learning or a coding or a data learning course until a short while ago. But you will need at least a related degree and then of course you can just do a shorter course for a few weeks to build your AI knowledge. What would you learn at an AI course that's meant for those who want to build a career in the field? If you want to learn or that, where how can you build your own last build models? You cannot directly jump into that. To get there, first you will have to learn the compute fundamentals of computer. Fundamentals of natural language processing. So for example, all the large language models are built on top of the basic concepts of natural language. So the person will have to first learn natural language processing. And to learn that natural language processing, you have to learn first, you have to be really good with programming. So then that is a much longer journey that one will have to go. We could end up in a world where you can learn all the things uh, on your own, on internet as well. You could learn programming in a few months. You can learn, uh, you know, computer science in another couple of months. So while you will have to take those steps, but in today's world, it's not necessary that you must have studied computer science in 12th or you must have done an undergraduate degree in computer science. But of course, you will have to learn these foundational building blocks 
uh, before you can jump into a you know into learning how to build such things those who know um, programming language those who are already working in data engineering data science field uh, for them two to three month courses for upskilling and using or learning prompt engineering really well and utilizing prompt engineering to become a super developer or super uh, data scientist is something which is which is which is enough so once your fundamental are uh, solid and at the same point of time you um, you are good with problem solving then what the uh, generative ai can do for you is basically um, not restrict you to one particular language uh, one particular framework or one particular tools um, you can basically learn all the tools all the frameworks and uh, most of the languages um, very easily um, by using generative ai and shift from one domain to another domain um, and that makes you a really powerful uh, developer data engineer um, which is a great thing uh, and that is something which is going to basically um, which is which is which you which is the new thing that you can expect from any of the courses um, that basically teach you how to use prompt engineering really well and also at the same point of time how to basically shift from one particular tool one particular framework to different frameworks that the learning is highly personalized and basis how you are responding to it how you are growing with it that is how, like that that is what is going to basically be your career path some of the courses that i study under this program are data structures and algorithms electric circuits fluid mechanics and mechatronics design my favorites are definitely the design courses because we get to actually build stuff and automate machines in real life full hands on and test them around arenas obstacles people what not now let's move on to the second reason you may want to do an ai course to upskill or just to know how to leverage ai for your own use for that it can just be a shorter course where you learn certain skills like prompt engineering here's how those courses will help you and what you can expect to learn from them the fact that a lot of people when they think about ai they think that ai is for developers uh, or techies to learn but generative ai per se is for everyone you have to learn this very important skill called as prompting and that is also called as prompt engineering prompt engineering is the skill where you learn how to interact with ai in the best possible way to get the highest outcome of it right so that is a very important skilling that we teach and we focus on and there are a lot of prompting techniques a lot of ways to talk to ai and this doesn't need any code per se but understanding how to talk is very critical two is on tooling there are hundreds of tools out there how do you use the right tool in the right place and how do you leverage the tool to make it work for you the best is the second layer of our training that happens and the third layer of training pretty much happens on automation with ai a lot of things can be automated you can connect a lot of things for example right like let's say every day you spend 2 hours going through your emails ai can actually go through all of your emails and summarize it and send you like a note end of the day or it can also like tell you prioritization talk about which is an important email which is not an important email and can ping you as well we have generative ai for product managers generative ai for marketers generative ai for founders right generative ai for data guys so the specific categories that we have built where obviously right like you're learning how to do your job as a product manager let's say but with ai you can double down your effort now is it really important to know and understand ai well the thing is yes according to almost everyone we spoke to according to a report by mckinsey to over 11 million people this is for the united states 11.8 million people will need to move to different lines of work in the next 7 years now that's a really short period of time and due to this shift in jobs people will have to learn new skills Also there are going to be 97 million new jobs in the next 4 to 5 years due to the sudden demand for AI skills like prompt engineering and problem formulation. Problem formulation basically means that you transform a real world problem into a computational challenge and those problems can then be addressed by certain algorithms. So only those who keep up with these technological trends will be able to survive the job market. anyone who is going to come out from any of these courses is basically believed to be a tech agnostic developer which is that you can code in any language okay because if you let's say no one particular language you can shift to any other language by using generative ai so that's the first big use case second important thing is i think the delta between 
earlier the freshers those who are coming out from these kind of courses versus people those who are experienced i think that delta has reduced drastically so the expectation from anyone who is going to come out from these kind of courses is basically that you will contribute like you are contributing as a senior developer if you think about it a lot of time right like before when we thought about ai we always thought ki are uh, you know factory workers will be automated anything which is repetitive will be automated creative work ai cannot do well exactly the opposite happened with mid journeys of the world art is all of a sudden like uh, being like we are we are at a point where it's getting disrupted content copy creative thinking brainstorming strategic thinking all of this ai is able to do brilliantly well today in rolls school i have a 150 member team everybody in the team uses chat gpt bard and other generative ai tools also importantly ai is here and it's here to stay According to the report activities that account for up to 30% of the hours that are currently worked in the United States they can be automated. What does this mean? This basically means that AI is going to be like your co-worker in the next few years. And whether or not we like our co-workers, we have to learn to work with them, right? I can make more sales than a computer. In fact, I challenge that website to make more sales than me today. Also, India is actually at a great advantage when it comes to this because we have the highest amount of penetration of AI skills right now. Anyway, India is the place that global giants are looking to address the skill shortage. So why not leverage it? How you choose to do it is up to you, of course. You could take a course, you could take advantage of some seminars that your company might be offering, or you can maybe just learn online. but being ai ready is going to be imperative not just to keep your job but to ensure that you continue to find good opportunities companies need digitally savvy creative people who can work effectively in harmony with machines hope you found this video useful for more such content keep watching money control